Okay, so now we have this extension resized image, this function. Now back in the playground, that means we can use that function on our image because our image now has that extension because that's the UI image extension. So if I want to then put this to use, I can grab my image and I'm going to call resize image. And let's see, that comes from here, this method. This method is defined on UI image and may not be available in this context. So it's just telling you that because if the image is not a UI image, then it won't be able to do this function. So whatever you're trying to use this on, it has to actually be a UI image type. Now the size that we're passing in is our input size. So pass the input size right here as the argument. And this may or may not return a value. So we are going to use a guard let statement to get our image resized. And if we do get the results, then we'll have a resized image. But otherwise, we do have to handle the case where the image fails. So we'll launch a fatal error that says image couldn't be resized. So this will throw the error if we're not able to resize the image properly, if there is some kind of error message. Okay, and you may get this message that the value of UI image has no member resize image just because we do want to save this and compile it. I have found that it can have trouble noticing other files. So what you can do if it still is not recognizing the function is you can just take the extension and you can copy the code here or even cut it out and then just paste it right into the playground. So I'm going to go to the top of the playground file and just paste my extension right there into the top of my playground. So then it will be able to see the extension for the UI image class. Let me just hide my left sidebar. So now, because the file is right here in the playground, my playground will be able to see the extension. So that is one workaround. So now it can read this function resize image. Awesome. Okay. And you can run your code to run the playground. So here we are running our object detection playground. You can also check to see if you have any error message or warnings. Here we have output failed with non-zero exit code, but we can just ignore that. It's still running the playground here. Okay, so let's see. We have resized our image, and we can see our result is that we're ready to continue object detection. So that tells us that the playground ran successfully because now it's ready to continue. It didn't log any errors in the output. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.